Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great workout you can do in your home. We're going to focus on your back and hips today. Um, many times if you're a runner or you walk a lot and you don't do stabilization exercises, you can end up with knee pain, hip pain, back pain, um, even if like from sitting too much or just repetitive motion that you're not compensating with this um, stabilizing program. I'm going to show you seven exercises today that you can do to help with that scenario. Okay, we're going to start today with standing hip um, abduction. So out to the side. So you want to stand where you can hang on to something for balance if you need it. You're going to pull your leg out to the side. Importantly, you're keeping your toe straight forward. So we're working on um, hip stabilizers here. Now, it's really common for our toe to want to pull out like that because our hip flexors and our quads are used to doing all that work. They're stronger, they want to take over. So we want to make sure that your glutes are working here. All right, now we're going to switch sides. Now, importantly, also, you're stabilizing on that side that's standing. So if you find that you're falling into that hip like this, really try hard to keep that strong and keep that up and that hanging onto a kitchen counter or hanging onto something stable can help you do that. Okay, next we're gonna go to a wall. And I know that can sometimes be really hard to find in a house. Um, and so lots of times they tell people, close a door. You can use you know, a bedroom door or an outside door or something if you don't have wall space available. So I want you to stand right next to the wall. You're gonna put your knee up like this. And you're going to press. Hold it for about three seconds and then rest. This is harder than it seems. It's hard to show that I'm actually doing anything here, but I'm pressing my knee into the wall. You can rest if you need to in between. We're just gonna do five. That was four. And five, good. As you're pressing, this is working really hard, and then the stabilizing one is also working really hard to keep you stable there. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I just put my knee up about 90 degrees, press, and rest. Good, press into that wall, three, I'm gonna do two more, four, five. Okay, with these, I say it a lot, but make sure you're keeping your core strong with these exercises as well. It's all connected, so we wanna you know, make them all work together. Okay, we're gonna lower down to the ground and do a bird dog. So, hands directly beneath your shoulders, Knees directly beneath your hips. You're going to reach opposite. Now you want your head in a good neutral position, just looking straight at the floor. And rest. And your goal is to reach straight out. So you're keeping your back flat. Breathing. Now if you have shoulder pain and you're not able to reach forward like this, you can just pick up your hand like this, or if reaching over your head is contraindicated for you for some other reason, you can just pick up your hand and then you're still working that posterior chain. Or you can even just kind of reach part way out like that and that's okay. You can find what works for you there, but working that whole posterior chain all the way from your shoulders down the back of your legs Now make sure you're actually holding these for, you know, four to five seconds. Really make those stabilizing muscles work all up and down your spine. If you find you're really wobbly with this, that's okay. Just try to hold it for as long as you can and see, think about tightening your tummy to help stabilize you. Breathe. When you're working really hard on something, that you're not used to, sometimes you can forget to breathe. So don't forget to breathe with these. I'm gonna do one more on each side. I kinda lost count, but try to do about 10 on each side. Okay, good. Next we're gonna flip over on your back. We're going to do a bridge. 
So um, I'm gonna add a little bit of something to it, but before you go into your bridge, think about flattening your back, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. Now, if you have not done bridges before, and this is the first time you're trying them, start with these. Remember, flatten your back, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. Now, if you do these and you wanna add a little something extra, I'm just gonna add a knee extension. So we're gonna hold that bridge and slowly straighten alternating knees. Slowly straighten your knee. Now your goal here is to keep those hips stable. So you don't wanna be rocking back and forth. So you're really working your glutes here. Your hamstrings are also working. I'm gonna do one more on each side. Nice and slowly. Now, when I straighten it, I'm keeping it in line with my other leg. So don't like straighten it way up here. Keep it in line with your other leg. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground. We're going to do clamshells. So on your side, tuck your hips. So you want your hips and your shoulders really stacked so that you're not open like this at all. You want it stacked almost like you're closing off. Now, bring your heels up towards your hips. Lift your knees apart. Now, this is a pretty small range of motion, actually. When you're in the correct position, you can't go very high. So you don't want to be opening it way out here. You really want to be concentrating, focusing on those glutes. So when you are really able to isolate them, you will feel it. Nine and 10, good. Now we're just going to switch sides. Just rest your hand or your head in your arm like this. If you need to, you can use a pillow. Remember, kind of roll those hips forward just a little bit. Bring your heels towards your hips. This is really all the further I can go in this position. So if you can't, if you can really open up your leg, readjust and really close those hips off. Eight, keep breathing. Nine and 10, good. Now we're gonna stay right here, but come up onto your elbow and you're gonna bring your leg out like this. We're gonna do lower leg lifts. So now we're working the inner part of your thigh. Inner, so your hips make all sorts of different rotation, uh, rotations and um, motions. They go forward, they go backwards, they go out, they go in. So we wanna keep them strong in all of the directions so that they can be as strong as they can all the way around to support your body as it's be doing its normal stuff, right? So I don't want you to stop walking. I don't want you to stop running. But adding these can really help reduce any other pain you might be feeling as a result of a muscle imbalance. Okay, we're gonna end with one more. We're gonna end with a plank. So yes, this is a core exercise, but it's also a huge, uh, you're working a lot of muscles all up and down. So your back is working, your core is working. All of it is combined to help keep you strong. All right, so come down to your shoulders or come down to your elbows, I mean. Now you can do this up on a bench. You can do it on the edge of your bed. You know, just kind of change that incline. Your hips are also working here stabilizing everything up and down. Your whole spine is working. Keep your head in a good alignment so that your neck is happy. You're breathing. Remember these isometric holds can be hard to breathe. So you really want to work on breathing as you're holding this. Okay, rest, good. Okay, feel free to add these to your day. I mean, you can do a few of them every day if you want to just do like three one day, four the next. Um, but do them, do these religiously. These are ones that you should have in your regular exercise routine. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out or leave a message in the comments. Otherwise, have a great workout and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.